Hello, this is Andy of HoboTraveler.com. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand. It's uh, January, I don't know, 4th, 2007. What I'm going to do here is explain how I use my bucket for taking a dip shower. Um, what I have here is a uh, plastic bucket that I purchased, uh, I think in Africa, West Africa. It's actually a bucket made out of a five gallon vegetable oil. I cut the top off. Um, for the sake of ease, I'm going to show this uh, already attached. What I do is I have to lower this into the water exactly to this level right there. Anything below that and uh, if it's down here, it'll pretty much burn up the thing. Anything higher, you put this in the water and you'll burn it up. So you don't want to have this all the way in the water. I've got this already adjusted so all I do is lower it in the water and it'll, it'll uh, start to heat. This small one, which costs about one US dollar anywhere on the planet, maybe two dollars, is uh, easy to purchase about anywhere. You've got uh, different types that you can actually drop in the water in uh, South America. Then I have this round plug that I plug into the thing. Now you have to have this in the water ready to go before you plug it in or you're going to burn it up also. This is a real easy device to burn up. So I plug it in like that. About a half hour later the, the water starts to steam off of it and I have, have a uh, hot water. Um, let's see going to be real careful here that it's exactly the right depth in the water. As you can see, I I just use a uh, clothespin, clip it on, and hose it at the proper level. Um, I use this to sanitize water, to drink. I use it to, if you bring it to boiling, you know, it's... Uh, you can clean your clothes every once every three weeks. I just dip all my clothes in boiling water. That way I sanitize them. Um, later today, I think I'm going to try to boil some bed bugs out of my clothes. Thanks. Here's a much more difficult to buy type that I purchased or got in Thailand. Again, it has a round plug. This one's kind of the normal plug in the planet. Slot it's not. This one's easy to use because I can actually immerse it totally in the pl into the water. I don't have to be careful at all. I just got to make sure it's in the water. So you must always have these in the water before you start to use them. If you, you know, if you plug them in without being in the water or take them out while they're still plugged in, you'll burn them up. So this one I just drop in the water, make sure it's fully underneath the water, and plug in. This one will take about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, you want a 221 because a 221 will work in both a 110 and a 220. You basically have it both ways. It's just slower. Uh, 110 will probably burn up. I've really not tried it too much, but um, you can buy 12 volt ones and you know either 12 volt or 220. The 221 will blow fuses, break breakers and all this stuff. You have to be kind of careful which where you plug it in. Um, my plug here is has both a, a round slot and a, a, a slotted slot. You can use, either use a normal American type slotted one or you can use like what I call the German round one. The round one, I purchased this four slot thing in uh, Peru. The guy made it for me, used a 14 gauge stranded wire, cop copper wire to make an extension cord. I actually have a slotted plug on the other end of it. Okay, you see this uh, this rug here? I, I call this my rug, but it's really just a nylon quick drag towel. It's not cotton, it's nylon. Um, you want to be careful here, you don't get electrocuted, so you try to always put your sandals on or something so that you when you're plugging this in you don't get uh, create a circuit between your 
bare feet on the ground and the electrical uh, plugged in. Uh, safest way is probably to have this all wired up, then go plug it in at the socket. Um, you know, it's, it's a little little dangerous, but generally I never take uh, cold water showers anymore. Uh, I use a dipper. Let me see if I can get the dipper. I use a dipper like this. Um, you got to watch these dippers. They use them in the toilet. I don't use it in the toilet. I just use it for showering. Um, this is also very good to protect the uh, light bulbs and stuff. I use this for many uses. You can also, you know, just do, you know, you can just cook water this way. So if you wanted to have a, like a pitcher full of water, you cook it this way. You got to make sure again the water is at this level and not farther. Or otherwise you'll burn it up. You don't want to put this thing all the way in the water or you'll burn it up. It has to be right right at this level, about one half inch below the top. And then after you have it set in there, then you plug it in. Um, hope to add to this movie or film, whatever you want to call it, and try to explain. I use this bucket for just immensely, uh, an immense amount of things. Generally, it's in my backpack. Protects all my uh, gear from various, you know, if I put my camera bag in there or put my computer bag in there, it creates a plastic shell around it, but then it's a removable shell. Thank you. AndyHoboTraveler.com, Bangkok.